and welcome. We just hit record here on Blab the first time, third time's a charm for how to. Yeah. Just give them a little props. Where we are at right now, and uh, we are just getting started. Welcome, Karen. And Hi, everyone. It looks like Mandy wants to come in. Do you see that? I did, and I said yes. Nope, she left. No. If you're going to come on, guys, you need to have a camera. Yep, you've got to have a camera. But we're going to start because I know the one thing when I was looking at the replay, I was like, oh, seven minutes of chit chat just didn't work. They want the stuff. They want it now. OK, open Facebook right now. And I want you to go to a famous celebrity's fan page. Why not Lady Gaga? She's got 61 million fans. So let's go look over here. We're going to go to Lady Gaga. She has 61,889,168 fans. Wow. Lady Gaga controls an em empire of little minions, little monsters. Okay. Mm -hmm. These people, they do her bidding. They uh, take over on social. They are very active. She has a direct relationship with them. She talks to them. So this is the key. This is the trick that I'm going to teach you right now today that's going to change your life forever. How engaged are they really okay facebook changed their algorithm now your posts aren't getting shared as much right. and only a, a small percentage of your fans are going to actually see your content which sucks it does suck it's frustrating too it is okay so you see you're on the timeline next is about then photos then music videos then it says more with a little drop down i want you to click that more click likes this is the secret it's right there, but nobody ever goes to this page. And every single fan page has it. Every bit, every page. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, Miss Adrian? I'm going to put a link to that particular thing right in the chat. So if people want to go directly oh, there. Perfect. Click on that. Awesome. So out of her 61 million fans, only 524,000 are actively engaged and sharing her content, commenting. Excuse me. That's not a good ratio. I only have 20. 6,000 something, 26,918 uh, likes. But my post reach right now is 53,370,875. And the active number of people talking about my page right now is 3,702,920. That's when we say holy crap. That's yes. when we say holy crap. Um, and, and what's interesting is because I only have 26,000 fans, um, I, I go viral a lot and the, I'm going to share with you exactly how I'm sure everybody wants to know how and can you give us a link. Would you put a link to that page you're looking at right in here in the chat? You'd have to be an admin to see it. Okay. So can you go to my page and click likes? I should be able to, am I an admin on your page? No, 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 no. If, if you just do facebook.com slash Adrian Ashley slash likes, it'll, it'll come up. That's my fan page. I can't see that page because it's my page. I'd have to be logged out. Here's the deal, though. I'm having conversations. So most people on their fan pages, just like they do with advertising, is they push out content. And they say, I'm having a sale. I'm making an appearance. I'm having a talk. I'm giving a webinar. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Prove it. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? They're eyed out. Yeah, right? they are eyed out. I put a link to your thing over there so they can see it. Awesome. Thank you. And so here is the difference, okay? Here is the critical piece of missing information. It's not about you. It's about them. Right. What about you can you start a conversation about with them that allows them to give you a piece of themselves? To Correct. share and expose a little bit of themselves so that they actually say, I got to engage. I was seen. Okay. okay. And so like today and the last couple of days, I've been having a conversation uh, that has generated hundreds of thousands of shares and, uh, and, and hundreds of thousands of, of comments. And it's not just on my page. And that's the key critical piece to going viral right? It can't just be a conversation that they can have with you or about you. 
right. it has to be a conversation that can be shared onto their profile page that they can continue the conversation with their tribe okay so our conversation was about the kentucky clerk who doesn't want to give gay marriage wedding licenses right, right? that is a really could be very polarizing conversation but my crew my people we represent the 80 percent of the middle not the 10 percent on the fringe on either side and and I have these conversations. I go, look, keep it classy. I don't want anything vile. I don't want anybody, you know, like going crazy. I just, I want to understand. How does this work? What are some justifications? How do people think about this? What are some of your ideas? What can we do? What do we think is going to happen? And you made it about them. I let them speak their voice in a reasonable, rational, adult way, right? And it was so thoughtful. And yes. 90% of the people said, no, she should get fired, but she can't be fired. She'd have to be impeached and that's going to take a long time. And, and so then it was like, well, then what do you do in a situation like that? You know, impeachment or wait her out for a reelection. And what happens if she actually gets reelected and the people say we actually side with her then, right? Like there's all of these different facets to this, to this. And it, it turned into a very respectful dialogue that just blew up everywhere. And we've done this a number of times now. And I'm going to tell you there are five things and I've been testing this for years and I pretty much honed it in. We went viral in uh, in May. I was actually on a family vacation at Disney World and the phone rings at like 930 at night. <laughs> uh, you're going viral again and we're in 142 countries. I'm like, wow. What? <laughs> wow. And it was Thursday. So, so what, are the, what are the five things? Okay. Um, the five things. Sick. Lighting farts on fire. So how many of you could light farts on fire? <laughs> in your business and it would not affect your reputation. Not me. Not me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Silly. This one you can get away with because there's so many different ways to do it. Um, but it's really the best example is Charlie bit my finger. Ow. Ow, Charlie, he bit my finger again. Yeah. And that just like I mean it's silly. Cute and silly. Short, sweet, silly, makes you smile, and it has pass along share value because you're not sharing the content necessarily, you're sharing the smile. You're sharing right. the laughter. Love okay. That. So that works every time. Sexy. Kylie Jenner in yet another outfit where she's practically naked. Can you get away with that in your business? Now I can I only can. On the red carpet. I'm covered. The girls are covered, right? <laughs> on every red carpet, the girls get to come out and play like the more the merrier to the point where they take out the ruler and measure to make sure on the Emmy's red carpet that I'm not violating dress code. That was, I wish somebody had a camera at that point. That was just <laughs> perfect. I'm like seriously, dude, like three quarters of me is covered. What's out ain't much. <laughs> so it was very funny. Oh my um, God. And then, uh, okay, so uh, sick, silly, sexy, sentimental. Way back when, everybody had chain mail, right? And you'd pass it along, and you'd actually send it to your entire address book. Why? Because it had pass along value, because it made you feel something, because it made you think something, because it reminded you of something. So sentimental, it's got to make you cry, it's got to make you feel, it's got to make you react. And then they're going to open up their entire everything <laughs> somebody really likes you karen well, it, but somebody really likes you you have you have a lot too no, not as many as you you've got so, 75 just so you know, guys, those are the clapping hands and we love those i love clapping hands clap so click on it click on the uh, picture and and you're going to start clicking on that's really cool i'm looking to see if we have any questions over here i can't clap myself before um, we do number five let's go to, let's do number five first and then we'll we'll start asking questions i bet we have some like people that Dude, want. we probably do have some questions. Self-serving. Self-serving. Well, I just created a uh, I just created a meme and I put it out there and uh, it was my best performing meme to date until <laughs> until yesterday, <laughs> the day before yesterday, um, wh which is now at uh, 47 million. But my other one went to wow. 37 million and I was like, there we go. Right. 37 million. And it had uh, let me tell you how many it had. If I go, I oh know I gotta go here. I'm sorry. I have both the laptop open and the other 
So it's really the five S's. The five S's. So it's the, I call it the S factor, right? And it, and it really, but everything boils down to what's in it for them, which is the age old thing, right? Everybody says that. So with it, with it. what's in it for them with it for them, right? So the uh, 3 million shares on that one that wow, was wow, 3 million. I want people to share my stuff 3 million times. Well, it was, it had nothing to do with me. It was all about them and it was a very self-serving right, right. thing and, and they did it. However, Every time I go viral, every other post benefits from my increase in edge rank. So your page has an edge rank and you can go to edgerankchecker.com. Social Bakers bought them and you can check your edge rank, right? Mine's about 127. So Adrian, what does that mean? What is an edge rank? Edge rank is like your credit score for social media on Facebook. So it's how valuable is your content? How shareable? How worthy is your content? The higher the value, the better. So the last time I checked, it was 127. That was before I went viral in May. Wow. Probably obscene by now. And uh, like Coke and Pepsi are around 12, 12, 13. Wow. So most brands don't leverage Facebook and have conversations. The likes, the shares, and the comments far outweigh anything else. Okay. And a comment is the most valuable. A like is fine. and it, Or I should say a share is the most valuable. Then a comment, then a like. Right. So like, just click, 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 click. But if they actually take the time to say something, so you want to encourage them to say something. And Facebook doesn't actually read the comments through their AI yet. So, so we don't know. Somebody is that, is, that a thing? is that a good thing or a bad thing? I know what is that? <laughs> I'm looking at all these. Is that a good thing or a bad thing that Facebook does not read yet? Um, they, they are working on it. So, you know, what's really interesting is negative and positive sentiment, right? Okay. So, you know, way back when, when, uh, when people first started using Yelp, it didn't matter if the comments and everything were negative, as long as you had all that, all of that attention and all, and, and now negative isn't good anymore. And you really don't want negative. And, and what I've been really thankful for is that out of this 57 million reach now, I think I'm up to 57 million in the last 30 minutes. Uh, I've only really had six haters. And in grand total on the last five viral posts that I've done, which all have gone over 10 million, I have only had 1,200 hides. Wow. Right? And less than 100 marked as spam. That's really good. So really, really all good. engaged content, right? Like I'm not posting the thing about buy Ray-Bans for 23 bucks. Those are all scammers and spammers and, you know, and link baiting and they're trying to, they're trying to right. attack you right. and but it's the same principle because they know it works. That's the self-serving one. Because we can't help ourselves. We see something and we're clicking. We, click. we just have to click things. I, it's yeah. like, yeah. Yes. It's, okay, so I just put down in the chat, just so you guys see, uh, somebody asked what were the uh, three, and there's actually five. So I put five, it the six, S factor. Silly. Six, really sexy. Yeah. Sentimental and self-serving. So that's, these are hand, these are really great things to keep in mind when you start thinking about the posts that you're putting out there, right. but you want them to be at least one of those things, if not maybe two. It's not selling. Selling, kiss no. death. So it's not the six, it's not the, 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 you know, six of them. There's five of them. Five, five. There might be six. I'm working on a sixth potentially right now, but it is not sales. So, you know, that's why they have that whole ratio on social media, okay. which is eight posts that are service one post that is directing them back yeah. to follow you, subscribe to you, right? right? Which is your self-serving and they, and they will do it. But here's the thing, when you go viral and you post these posts, like I got 20,000 fans in a week. It was like crazy. That's like crazy. two weeks, maybe. But and that's a good thing. I mean, that's no paid, no nothing, simply by sharing. Cause when you share good stuff, they look at your page, they look at your other stuff and they like you. Right. And so you generate, natural organic likes of people who like your stuff. Absolutely. So that's absolutely. So Adrian, I'm, I'm going to toot your horn right now. Um, if, if for those of you with this first time you're meeting Adrian Ashley, which I'm sure some of you is not the first time, but if it's the first time that you're meeting Adrian Ashley, you are in for the right of your life. Adrian, quite frankly, first of all, reputation management is her middle name, but, but knowing how to get seen in social media is her other middle name. And the reality is, is that she knows her stuff. She knows how to go viral. She knows how to do all of these things. And the reason we're on today is so that 
she has a chance to get to know all of you and to show, give you a, that great tip that she's are. So you should take notes, guys. Take notes and go try this out. But she's the bomb. She's the one you want to be working with because she knows. Anybody familiar with the word clout or the platform clout? Give give um, Adrian some from some claps right now, some hearts and things. If you know what clout is, give her some hearts. And, yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm like I'm not getting any like. Yeah. So we did clout. like 200 hearts in 20 minutes. <laughs> um, clout is well, the word clout is how much clout do you have, right? But clout is a platform, and basically what it does is it grades you all of the different ways you were active in the social media world and otherwise and it does it's like a score basically right and it grabs all the different things that you have out there and then it gives you a score and it goes from zero yep. to 100. most people and if you guys were to go just go to clout.com put your name in there you'll find out what your score is but most people i think are in the low 20s right 15 20 if they're lucky if you're in social media if you're in marketing you're probably going to be between 40 and 60. I would okay. say average human uh, would be 20. Yeah. But nobody on here is average. No, nobody on here is average. And, <laughs> and I, I'm going to now pat Adrian on the back because she's the only, I happen to, we know Adrian. Now we all know Adrian. Adrian has 83 on, 83. on cloud. That's, that's way, way up there. I mean, I'm up there, but not anywhere near up there. She, and that's because she knows what she's doing. You can't, you can't make that up. You can't bribe somebody to get on that list. You can't, um, you know, pretend that you're on it. Pain in the ass. Is what yeah, it, is, <laughs> it is a pain in the ass. Oh, to get that thing to go up. Once you hit 82, it's like now you're in quicksand and, and getting farther and farther. It's harder to get farther. But, uh, you know, I've got Justin Bieber in my sights. He used to be at 100, but he's he's dropped a little since he pissed uh -oh. feed in the, the janitor's oh. mop bucket and, like, tanked. Okay, and, well, that's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> so that happens, right? Like, your clout goes up and down. But I'm, I'm pretty stable between 82 and 83. Yeah. I thought it was still 82. She's like, no. Nope. I, I told you it was 83. Does anybody out there have questions? I mean, are you would, would somebody like to come in? right now and talk to Adrian and find out, you know, you can tell her what line of work you're in or what you do. And maybe she has some ideas in terms of some things that you might be able to put out there. Uh, we got somebody for me. Oh, hi. hi. Well, you, you made my day as you're a filmmaker. So I'm like, yeah. Yay. Right? <laughs> hi there. Hi. So this is Adrian. I'm Karen, and um, tell, you're a filmmaker, right? I'm a filmmaker and um, a spiritual life coach is really where I want to focus. Okay, so um, you already have a fan page on Facebook. Let me look it up. I do. I've got a page, and I also started a group because group seems to be way more engagement. Um, yeah. And because they changed how pages work, and when they yeah. changed it, it just became really difficult to get any traction. Yes, and groups, and groups are put together more for the engagement so that people can go into a safe environment to chat with one another. You can put up documents, files, you can have all sorts of cool things going on. Pages, really at this point, and Adrian, bear me out on this one. I think that pages, fan pages, business pages, whatever you want to call them right now, those pages are there more of a promotion kind of thing, more of a, of a shout out, more of stuff that you're putting there. You're not necessarily going for engagement in terms of conversations. You're going for the blast, right? Yeah. It, Which is wrong. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. It's wrong. It's wrong. Oh. Here's why. Okay. So you can only have a number uh, 5,000 friends, right? You can have way more than 5,000 fans. I'm sorry, I have a light here, but if I take the light off, then I, like you can't see my face. So I'm a little blinded and squinty. Um, okay. So the trick is that you want to have those conversations on your page and invite your profile friends onto your page to have those conversations. But the key is you you can go a lot farther and wider from a page because people will share that page out to their profiles, right? right? And, and they're less likely, especially with the restrictions and the way things work, it, it will stay in a little universe if it's a profile share to a profile. Right. Right. You want your page and and your profiles need to be wide open. Those of you who are like in lockdown, like you're in witness protection or something, cut it out. <laughs> you figure you want to go viral. That that's got to stop. So your page is what is your page? I'm going to go look. Avery Ford official. 
<laughs> yeah, and uh, I actually there was a post the other day. I have strabismus, so I'm blind in my left eye. Okay. And there was a post that I did about strabismus, and anytime I talk about strabismus, which isn't frequently, isn't even all that much, yeah. those posts get so much more engagement. And this post the other day, I think, was up to around. Last time I checked, it had six like 600 views which for my page i think i've got less than 100 likes so that was 104 people who like it so you got 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 some likes yeah yeah Yeah. so that um so you you don't have i okay first thing i would do is as a public figure um i would apply for a blue check okay and the reason is because as a public figure, do you have Facebook mentions? No. Okay. So there is this little app called Facebook mentions, right? Mm-hmm. And what it allows you to do is live video right there. Okay. Live video. Facebook. Sort of what we're doing right here. Right. But, it's but on, on in the Facebook. Facebook. Uh, okay. let me, let's answer a question. Debbie Bloom wants to know what is a blue check? A verification, a blue check verification. If you are truly a celebrity, they will give you a blue check. Right. Right. How does it, so even though I only have a hundred, it doesn't um, matter if you are if you technically are a celebrity, which can be argued for. Uh, well, I can argue it to about most people. Okay. Um, I can figure out how to argue it. But if you then you get this Facebook mentions app, and the great. The great thing is every person who has that live streaming ability, Facebook wants to promote all those celebrities, right? All those celebrities are using Facebook mentions. So what do you think Facebook is sharing the most of? Right. Right. Those videos. So when you've got on here and you've got your um, thank you Thursday, right? If it were me, I would have that be my cover art but I'd do a video on thankful Thursday and say what you're thankful for. And then, and then ask them because that's going to get you way more engagement. This is just a post that anybody could have made and it's not personal. Um, You know, and so I think, uh, I think a video would be better. Okay. Yeah. And I have, I have done it. uh, I'm sure, you know, like right now I've got a full-time job as well and I'm trying to transition. Um, Of indie filmmaking. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Um, So, uh, I have done videos do, I think you're absolutely right. Videos do, because people want that human connection. Well, let me they give really you do. walking from the office. To yeah. The let car. me give you a very quick way to do it. Yeah. Download Periscope or Meerkat onto your phone and do a quick one minute as you're walking from one place to the next. Hi, you know, this is Avery. And I just wanted to let you know about blah. Right. Right. Yeah. I, it's safe to your phone. And then you can upload it. And you can upload it. Put it wherever you okay. want. So I use the Facebook mentions app to test it, right? To test this theory. And I think I've got 20,000 views yeah. on a video that I shot with my phone sitting in the, the car holder thing, um, <laughs> basically saying, hi, and how are you doing? And tell me how your day is going. Like, I mean, just right. not a big deal video that was yeah. like 20 seconds long. And uh, and it got a huge response on purpose. And, and the, the other thing, they promoted it. Yeah. The other thing I'm kind of working on is uh, there was a post that I did a couple days ago about your business yeah. for a campaign. It got noticed by the people who, and I can't, I cannot say their names because things are happening. But basically, it got noticed by a celebrity, and okay. the celebrity reached out and has contacted me and now wants to feature that post and my story um, coming up in the next couple of weeks. So they're like, I have this knowledge, like I know that in about two weeks, things are going to explode. And I, I want to make sure that I'm ready with my social media platforms and my website. One, I'm working on getting offers up. You know, I've got a course that I'm getting ready to launch called the confidence course. That okay. talks about having extra business and how I learned to look past it and love myself and teaching people about positive self-image. So I want to get that up and do all this, but I want to be ready um, because it looks like, if I'm correct in kind of watching what's happened with other people, that this celebrity has 
post it out, yeah. it's going to go to like, you know, tens of thousands of new likes on my social media platforms. And I'm not freaked out like I'm excited, but I'm also smart enough to know that when that happens, I want to be ready. May so let me just let me suggest my... that you go offline with Adrian after this call, that you go offline with her and you have a conversation because she will, she will help focus you. I, fri I friended you on Facebook too. Okay, here, awesome. Okay. So here's, uh, and I'm, I had to kick two people off to actually get room to friend you. So oh. please say yes. Yay. I, I got 5,000 friends already. Um, okay, so I, uh, how honest can I be with you? You can be, I mean, I'm, Okay. I'm ready. There is very little that I see on this page that shares with me your personality and it's very vanilla. Okay. I would, I want to, the key to going viral is you have to have an opinion. You have to take a stand. You have to be for something and that something can't be, I want everybody to be happy. And right. Cool. And, and there are 20 million life coaches out there. Right. Who all say the same thing, who all use the same imagery, who all, I mean, you, your face on camera is awesome. Yeah, you, you belong on camera, guys. <laughs> use it more. You have a fantastic smile. The dimple in your chin is charminger than anything. <laughs> use it. Okay. okay. I, we need to see more of you. I need to feel you. I don't feel you at all in your page. I okay. feel more here than I do on your page. And that's the risk factor that people just don't right. get. And they don't do it. And so they're like, I have to be safe. I have to be professional. I have to be business. No, you do that on your business page. This is your public figure page. Right. Lady Gaga shows up in a meat dress. Right. Why? Because she's a vegan. Right? Right. So what is it that you stand for that you, that you like, do you go dog rescuing and post about that? Do you, it cannot, it's so vanilla. It's only about your business. And I will tell you the story. So there was a woman that I was coaching a while ago. I had known her for two years before we started working together. Um, and that was the only time I found out privately because we were now friends that she had a pit bull rescue. That was how little of herself she shared with anybody, right? So my rule of thumb is if you're going to be a public figure and you're really a private person, uh, well, if you just want to be a public figure, you, you need two things to be radically transparent about that any stranger can walk up and start talking to you about. So, right. So mine is homeschooling and gluten free. Uh, there's probably 20 million others. I'm pretty transparent. There's really what you see is what you get. And I'm the same in person as I am online. But I have questions. If you're super private, question. pick three. Okay. Right. I have a question. Okay, so the one I'm ready to be super transparent about, like, yes. Lino and I have extra business. Like, it's, it becomes exceedingly clear that that part of my story really connect. obviously. Why wouldn't it connect right. to people? Um, being gay? Yeah. But that part of my story, for me, has never been a part of my narrative. It's always been something, like, I've, this sounds really strange to say i've never struggled with it it's always been like if you asked me if we sat down on the couch to talk we could chat for 20 minutes before that ever came out because i would talk about and that's natural not like right. being so, ashamed of it but this is my whole point right so you're blind in one eye i can see that that's almost like saying i'm very comfortable talking about the fact that i have brown hair um it's it doesn't share inside you who you are what you think what you feel like okay like you have a dog do you bake are you gluten free right. do you ride a bicycle do you do triathlons what uh, if here's the other thing because you're when you said vanilla i was like yeah she's right on uh-huh the thing with the spiritual life coaching the things that i really really want to talk about there's part of me that's afraid to because they're very it's I mean, it's the law of attraction. It's the fact that your consciousness creates the reality. It's the fact that everything around you is yeah. actually all about you and is a reflection of what's going on inside your psyche, like that sort of stuff. And there is a large part of me that's like, don't freak people out. No, well, okay, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna freak people out. But let me tell you, there are um, like I was bullied as a kid. My kid was bullied when he went to school. He was pushed off of a, a off of a 
climbing gym, broke three bones in his foot. The other kid wasn't punished. I talk about bullying. I talked about it on national television and cried. And I, I you know, Karen and I are working on a project that is going to just, you know, people are going to need a case of tissue, not just a box of tissue when we're done. But that realness, that rawness, that trans- vulnerability, the vulnerability, vulnerability of yourself be vulnerable. I'm not perfect. I'm human. I'm not perfect. And I don't need to present a perfect image. I mean, I did a Periscope the day after the VMAs, after I skipped the VMAs, because I got a zip. Like, I, there was nothing I could do about it. Like, it was 4.30. I'm supposed to be at the red carpet at 5. And all of a sudden, Mount Vesuvius erupts to the point that I haven't had a zit like that since I was 16. And I'm like, there's no way. No makeup could cover it. There was nothing I could do. And I was like, that's it. I'm, I, 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 can't, I can't do it. Right. And I literally, no makeup the next day, did a periscope and talked about it. But because I am willing to be transparent and open on social media. However, I'm not going to let the paparazzi take a picture of me like that. Right. Yeah. So how do I mine? How do I do that? So, so think about your best friends, your five best friends and figure, ask them, you know, what is most interesting about me as a person, as a human being? Okay. Right. And that's, and that's your thing. I want to give, I know Karen's got to go soon. Look at all those hearts. How am I supposed to catch up? <laughs> you have to heart me. Clap, 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 clap. I, you've got 840. Oh, yeah. I'm going to heart oh, Avery too, though, because Avery, Avery, you're, you're, you know, you're very brave to come and sit in the hot seat. Thank you so much for Thank being our Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. Like, it's, Oh, you're very welcome. Is yeah, there anything else? May I suggest that you do things like this as well? This we is actually, there's a, we're starting a blab talk show, me and two other entrepreneurs. <laughs> we're, we're calling it Biz Body and Soul, and it's going to be okay. about helping people that are thriving in life and business. Nice. We have somebody. Oh. oh. <laughs> I think we scared them off. Okay, somebody's having a whole lot of fun. <laughs> well, don't be afraid of us. We will not bite your head off. Oh, here comes somebody else. This is Diana Richards. Hi, Diana. Hi, Diana. Hi, lady. I'm going to say goodbye to you. I saw Diana last night, so it's good to see her again. <laughs> good night, Adrian, and I will talk to you. I'll send you a message. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. How are you, Diana? I'm great. How are you? I'm loving this new platform. This is so exciting. Isn't this awesome? I love it. Yeah. It's very it cool. Is. I didn't do the kitty thing. So should we change the title to add the hashtags or can we do it later? Oh, is that what it's supposed to be about is hashtags? No, it's not about hashtags. Okay, but let's just, we'll just, we're going to stay how we are because we don't want to like accidentally X ourselves out of this whole thing. But that's what I did last time. I was like, oh my God. So Diana, what, what line of work are you in and, and what's your Facebook profile? My Facebook profile is, I think you, you can find me by Diana Richardson right now. And is that your fan page or both. your? It's both. It's my fan page and my name. I've been uh, attending a lot of, I'm getting an education here. I'm on, your open lab. I'm on your timeline. That's your personal timeline. You're saying that you have a business line as well? Yes. Same name. Uh, is, that, is, it, there, is there more than two names? Is it Diana Richardson something? Let me I find see it. your profile, and I just sent you a friend request. Yeah, the one that has the, um, the green picture in it nope. is my page. I, on LinkedIn? And Facebook. No, no, I know, but... Oh, the green. I see it. Okay. Can you put the link in the chat over there, Adrian? Because I can't find it. Uh, Maybe. Because I, I can do that. Oh, you can do that? That would be great. And we've great. got a fundamental escape here. Hi. Hi. I'm, do you have a name besides fundamental escape? Yeah, it's Mark with an Hi. R. Like Mark. Hi, Mark. I'm from New Zealand, so I have to talk like you so you understand my, my name when I say my oh, name. Talk funny. That's oh, I like it. <laughs> Are you in New Zealand now? That's where I live, and I've lived here all my life, so yeah. <laughs> so, Diana, I'm on your page. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Diana. I'm, Diana, I'm glad that you're excited. For those of you who are in the chat, the comments, take a look all the way down the bottom. Uh, Diana put a link to her fan page. Mm-hmm. So that you guys could go click on it. Yes. So you have 994 likes, and I just liked it too. And I did too. Okay. So you have a health food store. Yes. Awesome. Mm. And healthy alternatives. Your physical location? 
In Illinois, I'm in Northern Illinois. But a brick and mortar, it's an actual place, store? It's, no, it's not a brick and mortar. I'm actually in multiple level marketing. Okay. Okay, because it says 137 people checked in here. So you have it as a health food store. <laughs> I didn't know what to make it. Your fan page is a health food store and not a um, and not a public figure. So can I be a public figure? If you say so. You know that sounds silly, but that really is what it comes down to on many, many levels. You have to believe yourself before anybody else will. Right. You, yeah, I'm you going to put yourself be. and your confidence to the table. But here's the thing. I actually don't think you need to change it from a health food store. However, you can't get a blue check because you're not a public figure. So you can't use that whole thing we were talking about, Facebook mentions. However, you are actually being super honest with health food store. Okay. And you're talking about ADD and you're talking about all this other stuff. I actually think um, your graphics are terrible. Oh, thank you. However, <laughs> I did that myself. Those are my, that's my own I, I know. However, <laughs> very honest. And it actually is attractive because uh, I, I actually, I like, they're, they're terrible, but I like them. <laughs> I actually, you know what? Before they changed it, it looked better on the page. Okay. I agree with you. It it looks horrible on the page right now. Can I ask where you're creating your images, Diana? Yes, I'm using PicMonkey. Okay, Pick, I'm using out, PicMonkey I'm, and PowerPoint. I'm going to give you another place to go check just so that maybe some more options. It's called Canva.com. It's free. Okay. And it's a great. It's very easy to use. It's I think it's easier than PicMonkey is. It's a great place to go and they give you basic templates that you can actually use and just trade out colors and all sorts of really cool things. Okay, Adrian, sorry, back to you. No, I'm just, that's good. No, because I was, I'm, I'm looking at these. So, so what are you using to post? Are you what using page moto or using buffer? Are you doing it by hand? Cause I, I'm doing it by hand. Cause like this one, I see kinetic diet dieting frequently asked questions twice which is a typical thing that happens with page moto. It doubles the, the title uh, oh. from, oh, bodybuilding. Okay, so that's that link. Um, again, I see all your product and I see, I see the expert of you, okay? And, and the content is good in terms of, um, I'm gluten-free, dairy-free. I am like the world's worst person to ever try and order for or shop for because I know this stuff like the back of my hand and I read labels and I've been 26 years gluten-free and I can make gluten-free bacon waffles that taste so good you'll never want to leave. So anyway, um, the uh, I, I don't see any of you here. And so this is the issue that happens with multi-level marketing every time. Mm -hmm is the product comes first, the company comes first, and you're a representative. And that will never take you viral because- I'm really trying to step away from that and yeah. create for myself. Um, right, so who are you? And, and the key is your mess is your message. So what attracted you to getting into health and getting into wellness and health food? What is, what, what is the MLM? Which one? The name of the company? Yeah. I never put the, the name of the company out there. I want people to have to ask me. I'll tell you on this. It's um, Visi, V-I-S-I. But I want, that I want to be able to, pardon me? Was that Visalis? No, no, it's not. Okay. It's Visi, V-I-S-I. Okay. So, I, so what needs to happen here is there is none of you here. It's your name and there's information, but because it's just information, there's no personality. Think about such a, I'm just so pissed at this guy for ruining my example that I've been using for years, but how social was Subway before Jared? Now it's really social, right? Like in a really bad way. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. So don't trust somebody else with your image. You gotta own it, right? So right. what is it about you why should people listen to you? Why should they like you? Why should they engage with you? It's got to be about you or they don't care. And it's it's a, what about you is going to bring out in them what's happening. Like what mm -hmm. what do you inspire in them? And you know, it's interesting. That's what I've been doing on my timeline. Yep. But my page 
is yeah, very boring. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with, with Adrian. You want to start moving some of that personality to your, your, your page so people can get to know you because at the end of the day, this is about building relationships. Exactly. And so I would, I would relationship with you if, if you don't have a personality. I've been doing it all on my timeline and not on my page. So you take that over to your page and then okay, and then you can share it back to your profile, you know, but mm -hmm. put it on your page. And, and mm -hmm. that's the key, right? I mean, if you can leverage your page, your page actually can end up having much bigger reach than your profile. I could, I don't have 50 million people on my, on my profile. I've got 5,000 friends and 75,000 followers. I think, I don't know. Let me go look. I got, I mean, not, I, it's not a lot. That's not that many people. Um, yeah. On my timeline, I have 5,000 friends. Exactly. Really. 4,200. I kind of stopped right. there. Be careful so that I wouldn't have to get rid of somebody to add someone <laughs> because I go through like every week and I have to spend an hour and there's no report. I'm like, there is a thing called friend sweeper. I'll just give a shout out to my friend, um, uh, Richard, uh, Robert Mercado. And he has a program called friend sweeper. But when I looked through it, all it did was made me feel bad that like, most of my celebrity friends weren't engaging with me on Facebook because we were on text. And it's like, these people don't engage with you. You should unfriend them. I'm like, well, they're never here. I'm not going to unfriend them. Um, okay. So so you need to move that over. Whoops. I just answered TBA. I don't know who this, what the, the uh, TBA S S N C who asked, uh, please put your page link in your about section on your personal page. Yes. And that was, yeah. that was a great idea. And, yeah. And keyword. Oh, okay. like, what is your page yeah. about? Right, because people are searching on this. Like for filmmaking, you're gonna put in, you know, like the Indie Film Awards. Like, what is it about? Because it, it wants to know intelligently who are you like and how are we gonna put this thing back? You know, that kind of thing. Right. So. And you're right, Sassy. Um, there needs to be balance. Of course, you don't want to put all personal and know nothing about your business. You have to have some kind of balance. But it is about the personality because people, again, relationship. There's That's lots of people selling Vissy, right? Yeah. Why did they buy from you? Right. Exactly. And that's the whole point. That is the entire reason why it's like, well, what is it? And if that's not the case, then, right. you know, there we go. Miss Adrian, I have to drop out. I okay. have to do carpool, but it was great meeting everyone. And I, I'm going to go back and watch because I want to hear about Mark when I, when, when I come back. <laughs> and show. I'm just patiently, patiently Bye. waiting. Okay, guys. Bye. 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 Okay. So Mark, are we good, <laughs> Diana? We're good. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to open your spot. Okay. Okay. Hey, Mark, how are you? I'm good. So tell me your page. What? It, where are you? Is it fundamental? Um, well, fun, yeah. It's a, it's a podcast that we host. So it's, it's just facebook.com slash fundamental escape podcast, public group. Okay. So the fun part about groups. They don't, they, they don't get shared in the timelines. So even if you have a whole bunch of rabid fans in the group sharing it out to their personal pages, the edge rank is so low on a, on a group that it's not going to attract that many more people into the group. So it's almost impossible to go viral inside a group. Right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have a uh, – I just put the link to the page itself. Yep. Um, I think we do actually have a group as well. Oh, I was in the, I'm in the group in the. Oh yeah, that's what I, I was like. I was wondering what you're talking about. I think, oh, well, I, yeah, I literally just changed the name. I had a, I was into network marketing a couple oh, of years go. ago. Radio station. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> I just literally changed the name of another group to, to the same title because I thought I may as well. I don't really do anything with the group. So. Got it. Okay. So you've got 64, 65 people. Diana Richardson just liked you. Awesome. Everybody else, if you're listening, feel free for our, our hot seat people as part of the benefit of being in the hot seat and getting naked with us. Please go like their page. So uh, so you have just your podcasts on so here. I also have a public page as well, though. You do? Which I just linked to you. Mark, it's... It has a lot more. That has a lot more likes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that was because it was a, a network marketing account that I had like 1,500 friends on. Oh, okay. 
It's like sixteen hundred and nine now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, yeah. fundamental escape cast. Is that it? Fun escape cast. Fun. Sorry, I don't have yeah, any. It's, it's uh, I don't have any glasses on. So <laughs> there we go. Public figure. Now we're talking. Sixteen hundred and nine people. Awesome. It makes me look good, eh? <laughs> it, makes, it makes you look better than 12. Uh, but you only have five people talking about this. Yeah. And last week you had two new likes, and this week you have one. So that's oh. that's harsh. To be quite honest, I like I'll be completely blunt. I'm yeah. not doing anything with it right now. Like I'm kind of like the podcast has only been going for like two months. Okay. And so we're not like the guy that helps me with it is actually a web developer and he uses something called social oomph. I think yep. it is. I know. Yeah. Okay. And, but we're not using that at all at the moment. I'm wondering if we should start. I don't, I don't really know. I'm, I'm not too sure. You can, uh, the, uh, Zocalo, the topic is the fundamentals of how to increase Facebook fan page engagement. That's the topic. Just so you know, thank you very much. Uh, I love that you guys in the comments and that are watching are taking care of each other because it's in like three point font. I don't have any glasses on and I'm older than I look. So near impossible to read. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm way older than I look. So yeah, I, you need to have more on here. Photos. That's the other thing. Photos are much higher. Links are pretty hot right now too. Okay. Uh, especially things that go back to your blog. One of the things that I'll do is if I see something really hot, like a, a great YouTube video, I'll go post it mm -hmm. on my blog and then share my own blog link on my fan page instead so, of straight to yeah. you. I'll just to uh, give you some more context. I'll show you this page. This is, we do have like a, this link here is, it's a website called Strange Human. Um, Strange Human. This is like a blog kind of, we do a blog every time we do a podcast so we can like, there's a bit more work going into that at the moment than Facebook. Okay. But I'm sure we can cross that over somehow. Yeah, you can post your blog, your your links. Uh, I'm clearly not spelling human right, maybe. I just this is strangehuman.com. Yeah, right. there we go. Oh, there Sorry. we go. Fundamental Escape episode. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I would be sharing these pages. Are you sharing these pages? Is that what I'm seeing? Um, I think yeah, if you go back, yeah. I do share them on the on the on right. the podcast page. So so still, there. I I see nothing of you. I don't see you. Who are you? Tell me about you. What do you like? Yeah. Are you single? Are you married? Do you have kids? Do you like to dance? Do you surf? Where where are you free from New Zealand? So you've got a great accent. You got a level huh. that. Because the U.S. loves those Aussie and Australian, New Zealand accents, so you get way farther with that. Yeah. You leverage it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Um, we're thinking of doing a few different things. Like um, with my co-host, we've talked about the idea of like maybe doing some video kind of content where we do stuff that we can post, like YouTube videos. Yep. That we can like post on the page, like so kind of give a bit more like. I like what you're saying. That's actually really helpful. That whole idea of like putting yourself out there. Naked. Um, you want to go viral? Get naked. All right. Honestly. Just as you asked. Really? Um, okay. It's, it's the mask. <laughs> Here's what I'm telling you. When yeah. you smile, right? Yeah. A real smile? No. Doesn't go to your eyes, right? A real smile mm. shoots joy out of your eyeballs. It's a real yeah, connection. Yeah. It's what real people do and feel and and it's necessary for you to connect with your audience and to have a conversation if you're just pushing like everything on this page is just push 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 to my blog push to this push to this it's like yeah it's none of it's about them it may or may not be useful but it certainly doesn't have any hooks right like upward yeah. is the they are the kings of hooks right she had a horrible day and nearly killed herself but then she read this one thing dot 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 how are you not supposed to click? Yeah, yeah. Right? And then it's always something sentimental. Yeah. They might as well, instead of saying read more, it should say grab a tissue. Should not say read more. It should say grab a <laughs> tissue. Click. You're gonna, right? And that release, that emotional release, and also our, our not human frailty, but our 
what makes us unique and what makes us not perfect is another way to connect with people. So yeah, Mataji, I like that. That's cool. Try that's very cool. I can't. There you go. That's really cool. Thank um, you. yeah, I guess I suppose I still have some reservations in my mind in regards to like online connecting because I'm just like, how does it really work? Like, how do you? I mean, I love this whole blab thing because it's like you get to con, you know, connect with people in a more genuine way. Right. Well, it's, 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 it's very interesting. But I will tell you that on my about page, on my fan page, up until May, um, I had my phone number on there. So the person who called me to tell me that I was going viral, I had never spoken to before and I didn't know. <laughs> nice. Called me on my family vacation. I'm like, hey, what's up? And she's like, oh my God, you're going viral. 142 countries. I'm like, oh my God, that's awesome. So now we're friends. Yeah. And, um, yeah. but it wasn't until like the fifth, Nigerian called me to propose marriage and say hi. This <laughs> person was in Russia and was like, I, I just didn't think it was possible that a celebrity had their phone number on Facebook, so I had to call. And I'm like, yeah, I called. But I mean, like it would ring at all hours and I finally just had to take it off because I was like, they're actually using it now. And yeah. most, and for years, I mean, my phone number is online. It's on 50 million websites. So it's not like you can't find it. But in that one little spot, like it had been there since 2008 and yeah. nobody had ever inappropriately used it. So, you know, if you just set it up that, look, I'm a human being, treat me like a human being, right? Yeah. And yeah. and you set up your engagement like that, then that's how they're going to treat you. Yeah. They're going to look at you. I mean, I have people that tell me stuff they can't even tell their friend, their real friends. Yeah. And like, I just feel like, you know, you'll give me better advice. I'm like, okay. <laughs> right that's awesome like, that's really cool but that's what happens when you create that relationship with your fan base right they will trust yeah. you more and what does that get you well i'm telling you having an 83 clout score and having an, a social reach of over 50 million and and all of that pretty much gets me invited anywhere i want to go yeah right i just i log in on my phone i take a screenshot and i and i text it to them and i go here you go and they're like hi <laughs> Right. So if you ever want to speak, right, if you're doing anything, you know, you want to get more, uh, bigger celebrities on your podcast, uh, have a bigger social reach and, and they will come yeah. and they will willingly do it when they see that it's that it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely something. I Yeah, that's definitely advice I want to take on board. Thank you for all those claps. You make me feel so good. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I'm so happy. Look at, look at all the non-claps I have versus your claps. It's very <laughs> How do you think I felt with Karen, right? My lovely co-host, I had like 70 and she had like 290 and then I had like 150. Um, yeah, people, I need, I need to know. <laughs> it was crazy good. So. Oh my goodness. No, that's cool. That's awesome. really cool. Do we have anybody yeah. else that wants to join in on the hot seat? Because we've got some good stuff. I am looking at your pages, telling you how you can be a uh, better at engagement, be more human, be more transparent, be more yourself. So what, just, just quickly, yeah. um, like obviously would you say to put in relation to the two Facebook pages, like the, the podcast page versus the public profile, right? What would I put more emphasis into? Do you think the public profile, the public page, uh, public, public figure page. Wow. I need lubricant. So, uh, <laughs> so it's kind of like, who am I? Who is Mac right. kind of thing? Yeah, because why should I care? It's really all about the yeah. human behind the brand. And then you would share from your podcast page, you would share those podcast posts to yeah. the figure page. Yeah, I guess it goes back to what you were saying before about just being a representative right. sort of thing. Right. You yeah. are your own spokes model. It is time for you to step up and be that representative. But you have to be the spokes model. You can't just be the pretty, pretty face. You can't be. Yeah. If I See, know less you know about you than I know about Vanna White, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? You, you know what's funny, though? Because I've i actually said this for a long time. My background for the last six or seven years is sales. So I, I sell products. I've sold face-to-face. -face, I've sold door-to-door -door on the phone. You know, like I can sell. I'm very good at sales. Great. But the one thing I struggle with that. I might be die, are you? Yeah. Well, no, I am very good at sales. Um, I, I am actually looking for work at the moment, funny enough. But um, the one thing I struggle to do is to sell myself. That's that's I've said that for a long time. And it's, hard. you know, it's okay. I'm going to give you an assignment. 
that made all the difference to me. And I will tell you, um, getting back to being real raw and transparent, uh, here is what, like, it was really hard for me when this, when this happened. I am a type A control freak. Can you tell? Like I have worked really hard since 2008 to get naked and transparent and real and like yeah. seen in public with no makeup on and not be perfect. I literally lived a life where I had to be perfect, 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 yeah. perfect, which is really stressful. And yeah. uh, so I was challenged. Uh, what was funny was it was one of my clients who challenged me back and I was like, oh, uh, you draw a big gingerbread man. And you fill it with everything that is amazing about you that has nothing to do with money, achievement, success, accomplishment, you know, accolades, winning, <laughs> all that, right? Let me tell you, I cried the first hour, maybe it was the first two hours, because I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a PhD, I it, like into all that. She's like, nope, nope, nope. And I'm listing off all of the nothing. things, right? And she's like, yeah. nope, 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 nope. Oh, so painful, right? And when you strip away all of those things that really don't matter and don't make up who you are, and you get to the yeah. core of who you are as a person and you start sharing that, oh my God, that is yeah. that is like the biggest genius thing you could ever do. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, that's so cool. I have loved talking to you. Can I keep in touch with you some way yeah. outside of Black? I, fr I friended you already, I thought, didn't I? On Facebook? Yeah, because pretty much if you try to get me anywhere other than Facebook, you won't. Because, oh, right. Okay. Uh, Did you add me as a personal friend or not? A personal friend, I think. I'm trying to find you. You're not in secret Jamaica. You're not in Lancaster. Here, Are I you can in Hybris software? No. No, I'll put the link here. This is my personal Facebook. Here. Okay. Everybody go friend mark. Everybody go friend mark. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> If you've got something to bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to you and I'm going to say hi to Sherry, okay? Yeah, thank you so much. It's been amazing. Please add me. I would love to keep in touch. Okay, wonderful. Thanks. Bye. Hey, how are you? I can't hear you at all. There's no sound. And you look like such a sweet lady. I want to hear you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, 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 see. Oh, do you want uh, G GS Mystic? Do you want to come in while we're having Sherry do her thing? Avery, you're back. We love you, Avery. I'm back. You're back. I have questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, let me know when you get your your sound solved, okay? Okay. okay. I can't hear you. I'll say hi as soon as I can hear you. I'll. So as soon as I can hear you, I will, okay? Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. So. <laughs> I love you. You're like, you don't have sound. I'm going back in. I got, I got the, put the crash helmet on. It's time. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> yes, Mystic. Come in. There's an open seat. Go, 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 go. Okay. So uh, how do I? <laughs> would you be willing to work with me for like two minutes to figure out how to craft my story like who i am apart from accomplishments and things like that to position myself in a way that people really see me because i've been getting great interaction on periscope i've been using periscope a lot and had amazing success building an audience because they see you yes. um i do when i do posts for my website my website is just my name.com i try to use video but how do <laughs> you're absolutely right the facebook page is vanilla it's vanilla. So how do you share value, like constantly, like give people value without? Yeah. I don't. I don't want to be a Kardashian. I don't want it to only be selfies. Right. Like, so that's I'm actually amazing. the whole process that I go through in the mastermind that I do. So I awesome. can't do it. Okay. Well, okay. then don't do it now. Do your thing. I don't want to do it now, but um, but yeah, I do have a whole process to go through that. That it kind of it, it's all about getting naked, people. Don't we like naked? Naked. It sells. <laughs> Up, right awesome. Not even awesome okay so i'm gonna move to johan johan miller can i hear right. you thank you love sure is. Hi. hey how are you Hi. great how are you good so you are holistic health directory is that it that's it okay that's yeah, i'm on blab on my laptop but i have my desktop over here that's a much bigger screen so i can actually read it that's the way to do it 
<laughs> that's how I blew it the first time though, because I had, that's not there, hold on. H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C, L directory. Is it, which one is that? That's not it, holistic health directory, there we go, okay. Holistic health practitioners. 9,184 likes. Good job. That's taking and quite a while to do. 288 people talking about you. I, I see room for improvement. Big room. Um, big room. Here we go. Do you really need meat to get protein? Well, let me tell you. I, I will eat more steak than broccoli, except when I was pregnant. And I'm a meat eater. And when I was pregnant, all I wanted was Fuji apples and spinach. And if I looked at meat, I wanted to just yak. Right. So there's something to this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so are you only vegan? Is your is your thing only vegan? Because mm -hmm. I will tell you, no. holistic health practitioners is uh, a lot less enticing. If you're going to do vegan, you need to be hashtagging vegan because there's a lot of vegan things in here. And, and there are, I mean, it's very easy to go viral. You post a video of a pig slaughterhouse and, you know, boom. Oh, yeah, that's gross. It's gross. <laughs> and what the vegan community wants to share. So, you know, you can have a, have a conversation about that. Ooh, back pain. I love back pain. I don't love back Everyone. pain. Back pain relief. I love my chiropractor. <laughs> so I was like, yay. Right. Uh, yeah, so holistic health practitioner. Yeah. So, you have back pain? Yeah, uh, I used to, and my chiropractor oh, okay. changed my life, so that's why I say that I'm I'm very healthy and and discovered my food allergies. So that so what I'm seeing here uh, is a lot of talking at things, right? Right. And not uh, broccoli may get stuck in your teeth, but French fries will get stuck on your ass. That should have gone viral. <laughs> <laughs> I, Why didn't I, it? Oh, I, I see you shared somebody else's photo on your page, right? But uh, I guarantee if I share this to my people, yes, well, my plus life cast will get mad at me for talking about a fat ass because I posted a thing <laughs> that says you, know, you can kiss the very fattest part of my fat ass. Um, <laughs> but that's damn funny, and it's true, you know. I mean, you, you, you wear what you eat. Um, a lot, a lot of this is, uh, <laughs> okay. You need to, you're, you're selling marijuana ice cream. Seriously. Isn't that wonderful? Are you in Colorado? I'm not. <laughs> I wish I was. I, uh, who, I who's Okay. Who's selling that? I just want to know. I have no idea, but it's great. Okay. Sharing links to other things. So you're driving all of your engagement off your page. So, so it, you need to be creating your own content. I, You're not creating your own content. You're sharing other people's content. Oh, I, okay. Every oh. once in a while, I do share other people's <laughs> content. I try to make it all, I try to personalize it all. Yep. It's, it's all it, other people's stuff. Other people's photos other people's photos, a link to another site, another person's photo, uh, sharing a group, uh, another person's what? photo, another person's photo, another person's group, another person's one the, photo. One of the things yeah. I'm working on doing is, yeah. is promoting other other alternative health things. I want to, I want to help grow the community. Uh, yes, this will grow the community. So, I would say one tenth of your posts can be sharing other people's stuff. Nine okay. tenths need to be you. Okay. That will change your reach. That will change your sharing. Because here's the thing once they share this off of your page, they're gone. You get no credit. They're never back. Right. Even if they saw it, you get no credit mm. for it. Right. The original post gets the credit for it. So you need to start generating original posts. Okay. Right. I'm with you on that. One of the things that I've, I've looked at doing is yeah. sharing, sharing other people's posts, sharing what I think is interesting information. 
through yes. bitly through bitly links so i can track so i can see what gets responded I'm, to and what doesn't yeah but i'm telling you you're killing your edge rank your edge rank is in the floor right. if you go and go to edgerankchecker.com it's probably a stick edge rank all right it's forward you to social bakers you log in with your facebook page you pick the page you press the button and it gives you a score so try that dot com okay dot com okay. edge here i'll put it over here edge rank checker.com y'all are making me type with no blocks. are you uh are, are you evaluating his uh facebook fan page yeah or, fan uh, page. okay thank I you see. All right. Okay. Thank you. So, Johan, you have your marching orders, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Well, what about the. Um, Lind, how are you? How are you? And, and how do I pronounce your name correctly? Adrian. Adrian. Oh, Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. I've uh, really enjoyed uh, what's going on here so far. And okay. um, hi, Sherry. How are you? Hi, how are you? Can you hear Yay, me? We've got sound. I'm so excited. Doing great. Sometimes it's just better doing, to reboot. Yeah. Doing great. Uh, yeah, rebooting is a big help sometimes. Uh, yep. So, uh, so anyway, Roland, who, who about, are you and where are you? Roland. Oh, okay. So I'm in Austin, Texas. And uh, I, well, I'm actually a little bit outside of Austin. I'm in San Marcos on the countryside. Yep. It's real nice, nice and peaceful here. Um, so I, uh, I run a, a life coaching business, life and wellness coaching. Yep. And, uh, I do that mostly on the phone and on Skype. Okay. And, uh, so I have clients all over the U S, uh, some in Canada, some in Europe, uh, I have one in Brazil, one in Mexico city. That's, I'm gradually spreading <laughs> as far okay. as I can. Um, and, uh, so my goal is to, uh, have as many live conversations with people as possible during the week when I'm not coaching. So, yep. you know, as, as a way of lead generating, uh, as far as social media, I have not been very effective. I know that. So the ROI that I'm getting is not what I'm looking for. And that's why I usually end up going back to the phones and uh, talking to people that yep. I've either worked with in the past, you know, asking them how I can support them or, or getting referrals from them. And, and that's been working for me pretty well. And now that we have, you know, these wonderful platforms like, like Vlad, um, I, I'm able to reach a lot more people on here than I am uh, in an hour of phone calls, of course. Oh, yeah. Uh, One to many is always the way to go. You yeah. have a person on here. That is that could go viral if it was your post and Which not. Which one is that? Poop. Seriously. Poop. Yes, I know. Always Let's talk about poop. Viral. It is awesome. Okay, you pull <laughs> in every single mommy. I am the OCD helicopter mommy. I had a journal every pee every t the time on each boob of breastfeeding. How big the poops were. What color. What quality. What consistent. I'm that parent. Right. Yeah. Like, crazy you What's start having it? a conversation with people like me about poop and what does it mean and yeah. i still check my kids poop he's 12 poor baby it's I'm important it's very no, important i mean you know, I trained him. don't flush i will flush for you but that's how i check his every day exactly i mean <laughs> ultimately we all want the holy grail of poop oh um, i haven't had the holy grail of poop since i was pregnant it's okay, well um oh, we need to look at we need to look at what you put in your body. I know. <laughs> I know. So, I'm an alternative medicine person. Believe me, I know. But that okay. that's the whole thing, right? Like, you want health and you want vibrancy. And it really is, like, you can tell with the poop. When you, when the poop is good, everything is functioning perfectly. That's the litmus test, yeah. right? More and, or less, yeah. And, right. So you just did a link to somebody else's page. And that other page is going to have that conversation. So you need that's to make true about poop and it makes make it funny okay like it could even be a meme of the book cover of everybody poops right but nobody wants to mm. talk about it right like how many people here's a poll you could put out how many people will pee in front of your spouse but not poop in front of your spouse mm. yeah. right well yeah that's true that's true right and they'll 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 be an engaged <laughs> 
question about what is that shame factor around poop and who has good poop and who's proud of their poops. And right. I mean, like, it's funny. It falls under. Remember in the beginning, I said sick, lighting farts on fire. Although you could actually take poop right on that edge right there. Uh, silly. So I would definitely keep the poop in the silly category. I would make it silly because that's lighthearted and it's not. Mm. Silly. So people won't be too offended, right? It won't be too polarizing, but it, it can be an, it could be a joyous conversation is what it could be. And then, uh, to be yeah. honest though, uh, I, I just want to interrupt real quick because yeah. I, you know, I'm not sure that I'm actually up to writing an <laughs> article about poop. Okay. okay. So, well, you don't have uh, to, but that's however, I was, yeah, I was happy to share the poop with, uh, you know, well, many you other people because, I, yeah, you know, I, I just figured it, it would get a, a reaction of some sort. And right. I actually haven't been back on that page to look at what it did. I'm not sure if anybody even okay. saw it. One I, I, yeah. Yeah. And I have to be honest that the Facebook fan page has uh, not done me much good because, first of all, I don't have a huge reach. And then also, I believe that I have a much better chance of getting a reaction on my personal page than I do on my fan page. Yes, but your fan and page think, can go viral and your personal page can't. So, I, okay. So I'm at 56 million people. Oh, really? Wow. 56 million people with 3.845 million. So 3,845,111 people actively engaged right so you mm. have to decide right everybody has these preconceptions about what facebook is and what their facebook fan page and they haven't seen any results and they don't know okay so you can either accept that as your reality right what you focus on mm. accept that that's how that is or you can look at so the fan page and go how the hell should you do that maybe i should work with her and do that because that could really work if you can have these conversations mm. Right. These conversations, which I'm not having sales conversations, but sales are dropping in my inbox. So it's I'm not even ha I'm not even making sales conversations. Does that make sense? I'm only a personality engaging with my fan base, which is naturally mm. resulting in sales. Interesting. Well, I'd love to know more about that. That's I do um, action marketing. That's my whole concept. Right. No, nope, I'm not pushing. Mm. You either love me or you don't. And I walk through life believing everybody loves me. And if they don't, I don't notice. <laughs> Great attitude. <It's> live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's really it's really the only way to live if if you're going to be healthy. Yes. Uh, if you're uh, internalizing the haters, is not going to help you. <laughs> In fact, I, I uh, lucky finger. Ban, 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 ban. I only had to ban uh, six people I, I mean, in like five months, which okay. is insanely good That's for great. a celebrity. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get I've never had to ban anyone. Maybe an ex-girlfriend, but that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said the right things yet. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so once you get haters, you know that you're doing something right. Am yeah, I right? Exactly. Then you know you stand okay. for something. Okay. I'm going to move on to Sherry, okay? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Sherry, good job. Roland, didn't I just have you, Roland? No, wait, why can't I hear you anymore? Because I muted myself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I in social Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the social media business, and I find I can do a lot of things for other people's pages, but doing mine in this industry is a little trickier. Yes. Because I keep attracting all the... Let's make a million dollar people. Oh yeah, and, you know the trolls and and, and it they're not not my ideal market. <laughs> oh, so tell me who you are in real life. Okay, so, social media. Um, my page on Facebook is Suit Your Target. Okay, and I do um well I'm wanting to branch into coaching for social media, but primarily I do content creation and uh, strategizing with people. But you make sure their content doesn't suck. Exactly. And I do really well with their pages, but not so well with my own. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you have uh, only 207 fans. I will say um, to be a social influencer, you really need to be yourself. 
So this yeah, is actually, and well, and that's the other thing I thought about was starting my own page with my name. Yes, I would do that. I would be a public figure. You clearly know social media because your stuff doesn't suck, which is yeah. great. So you're already like 10 steps ahead, right? Okay. Yeah, because that, that was where I kind of was debating. Like I, I did have a page with my own name. It wasn't a public figure page. It was just a sherrybambro.com spelled out in full, but it was something I created years ago before I'd started working in the business. And I shut that page down a little while ago. Okay. Because it really wasn't, um, wasn't helping me. Start a new public figure page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Use that. Pub this is your business. This is, this is how people can hire you if they want to hire you, but it's not who you are and who you stand for when you are out exactly. in the public engaging with people. Yeah, and I'm thinking I need to create me more as a brand myself. Let's see. Lots of the legal stuff seems to be a blood, a bit fuzzy. It tends to be changing a lot with regards to the internet all the time, although more heavily in the UK. Right now, some brands will expend great energy to protect their property. I, I think I missed the beginning of that whole question. Gilbertism, can you clarify? Were you answering a question? I missed that whole conversation. A uh, fan page is better than a group. Yes, I do think that. Um, well, I think he asked a question further up. It says, do you think a fan page is better than a group? I do. Um, groups are getting banned. Groups are getting canceled. Um, matter of fact, uh, one person that I was working with, she had a group that had 600,000 people in it way back when. And wow. then they changed everything and she could not convert her group into a fan page. And she launched the fan page this was way back way back when when you only had profiles and groups not fan pages yeah. and uh she couldn't move all those group people over and then they closed the group so she lost oh. it. and and so you're yeah. not and that's the only the other okay here's the other piece with facebook if you are not driving them to your own opt-in to your own database to your own mailchimp or aweber or whatever your autoresponder is if you are not double opting them into your own list where you control them then that is a sorry mistake because you can get slapped, you can get banned, you can get, you know, literally no access to your own site for 30 days uh, if they decide to put you in, you know, do that. So you really want to control the conversation. You want to drive them. But at the same time, you want to have that reach so that when you say something important, more people hear it. Well, and this is what I don't understand about uh, people, especially people in this industry who work in social media, who only have social media sites and free they use the free platforms but they don't have any owned real estate like they don't have their own web pages or whatever and i'm thinking you're putting your whole business in other people's hands right because what happens if that platform goes bad yeah. i mean holy cow look at elo the other day <laughs> i got a notification that somebody followed me on elo i was like are they still around like yeah. everybody abandoned ship all at once it was really crazy so yeah. uh, so oh so yeah. google plus is going yeah so the interesting yeah. question about the photos um, that Gilbertism was just answering was the legal thing about whether you can appropriate somebody else's photo and uh, mm -hmm. and give them credit. And the answer is yeah, not know. really. A lot uh, of people use this thing called com. What is it called? Common. Common. Oh yeah. So it, if you go to archive.org or Creative Commons, but the Creative Commons. That's it. Look at Creative Commons. You can go to. Um, uh, pick, uh, pick, hold on. Where's my brain? The Creative Commons, it has a lot of misunderstanding. Copyright is copyright. It doesn't matter. I mean. Right. But if somebody gives the license in Creative Commons and says, yes, you can use this. Now, yeah. there's the other thing with the whole meme generator, right? So you can go to the meme generator uh, websites and create a meme with a meme generator with all of their pictures. You can go to um, iStock Photo or Dollar Photo Club or anything like that uh, mm -hmm. and get free photos, or you can Google free stock imagery, and then you can use those stock photos, slap the quotes on it, make your own, design your own. That's what I did, uh, and I designed my own photo, and holy mackerel, that's the one that went 30 million, um, and then I used a news photo on the one that just went 50 million, so. Wow, I mean, it's even in those, in those cases, you always have to watch, read the fine print, especially if you're using it for business purposes, because- And you never, never, ever, yeah. ever, use it for business purposes. It's yeah. one thing to do a social share. Like if I am doing a Kim Kardashian post, I will go find a news photo of Kim Kardashian and I will mm -hmm. use that. And then I, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll pick yeah. the photo that I want that news article that I'm linking to, to show. That has, 
that's totally fair use. That's not me. I'm not, yeah. I have no financial benefit. It's a news story and news, you have fair use, those kinds of things. And yes, that person still has copyright, but I didn't make any money. So if they say, I want all the money that you made off of that photo, there's no money there. However, exactly. Getty images, you want to be really careful because Getty will come after you like crazy. So I would go to a free place instead because Getty will try and kill you. Uh, they'll yeah. send you a bill for like ten thousand dollars per photo. They're just they're they're bad with really good lawyers. <laughs> so don't do it. Don't do it. Be careful. Go to a stock photo house and license that image before you make it. So exactly. you, you need to be a public figure, honey. Yeah, you know, I think so. You know what you're talking about? Start getting speaking gigs, but you need to build up your social pro profiles yourself before mm -hmm. you can then step onto the stage, be a social influencer. It'll multiply your revenue in your business 10 to 20 times. I mean, every time I speak, that's like another plop of money right in my lap. They're like, I need you. I'm like, well, yes, you do. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so you need to be in those positions. And in order to do that, you need to walk your talk. You're really good at doing it for other people. I want to see you do it for yourself. Well, and that's it. I need to start doing it for myself too. Cause that, that's the whole point. I don't want to be doing just content creation for the rest of my life. So I got to a whole lot more to give. <laughs> yes, you do. So I want to see and that. Is Nick coming in? Um, I don't know. Nick, are you coming in? Screen. Did you put your finger over your camera, honey? I'm going to follow you. Anyway, I will jump off, but thank you. Thank you for your input. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye. Okay. So Nick, I can't hear you and I can't see you. Are you there? Do we have any other questions? Danger, danger. Will Robinson, the Dean of Success is in the house. Hey Dean, how are you? 50 million what? Came in late. Sazzy. So on my Facebook fan page, I only have 26,000 fans, but my post reach is 50... 7 million? Hold on. Let me look. I'm in the middle of going viral, so every minute it changes. Uh, let's see. So I am at 56,925,439 is my post reach, and 3,887,951 are the number of people actively engaged on my fan page right this second. Oh, I have 27,000 fans, 27,021. So it's a it's an exponential reach, which is part of what I teach and part of what I work with my clients on is, is how to get that fan engagement so that you have active two-way conversations. And it's all about being transparent and having conversations. And that's how social works. So I can't see you, Nick, so I'm gonna turn this off. Hopefully you can try to come back in. If there's nobody else that wants to do a hot seat, I'm going to do a countdown. So let's see. What is my page, Adrian? Uh, my name is Adrian Ashley. Adrian spelled like this. Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y. And Diana, you're back. Hi. <laughs> Woohoo. I actually just. First. <laughs> can you hear me okay? I can. Okay, good. I actually came back because I wanted to know if you could give us a link to your page. I'd like to follow it. Oh, sure. Sure. Thanks. That's all I wanted. That's all you wanted. <laughs> okay. But I want to tell you, I'm really crossing a serious chicken line today, getting on these um, talks. Yeah. yeah. Putting my face out there. Yeah. I did my own first one today. It was really scary. A big chicken line. Yeah, but that's awesome. I'm going to give you a bunch of props for that too, because. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It, like I said, it's all about being naked and transparent and having that conversation and letting people connect with you. If if they're not, if you've got that mask on, they can't get through and they're going to mm -hmm. feel it. And it's weird. Okay. So like, I grew up in the eighties. We were not, and I grew up in Marin, like the woo woo capital of the world. Right. So okay. I was a little bit more woo and I'm not woo. I'm mainstream. I'm not anti woo. I use woo. I'm just, I don't not woo. So, but the world is shifting. Like more people are talking about, you know, that doesn't feel right or I'm sensing this. And it's like all of those feeling words and all of that, that energetic stuff is coming more into the mainstream. It's more accepted. They understand it more. They know how to utilize it more. And, and that transparency, well, you could, you know, just put on a nice polished face and be perfect in the 80s. You can't do that anymore. In the 80s, they probably wanted you to be perfect. Oh, they and did. Now it is. Yeah, we want to be real. 
it's all about realness. And so that's why you know, my way of going viral only works on a fan page that's a like a personal public figure. You have to be able to be you. You have to have opinions. You have to have your strong personal brand. You have to know who you are. You have to know who is attracted to you. Who do you want to be friends with? Who do you want to like you? What do you want to say? Like, what do you stand for? At the end of the day, what do you stand for? That's really going to attract all those people to you. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. And don't be afraid because you're amazing. Did you think that I should change mine to a public figure? You said yeah. I was perfect as a store, but. You, you know, I think you need a separate one as a store. I think you need to make the, the business one. Uh, no, you don't have to be a, you have it as your name, but you're being honest that it's a health food store and you're selling something. You can mm -hmm. still, you're not going to get a blue check, but you can still be, you know, engaging and having those conversations. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. You can debunk stuff as a health food store, right? Crap vitamins, crap supplements, just like Dr. Oz goes and does all those analytics and sends them to the lab. So this one doesn't have what's in the bottle. This one does, you know, yeah. those are always what fun. About, or here's a conversation. You have to have this conversation, okay? Synthetic folic acid. I'm giving you your next viral post. Okay. If folic acid is listed, listed in the nutrition block, it is organic. If it is listed under ingredients, it is synthetic. Wow. I have a gene mutation among millions of other people. I am allergic to synthetic folic acid. It's in everything. It's innocent. Nobody thinks about it. It's in vitamins. I only eat like gummy vitamins. Because <laughs> I hate taking pills and I won't do it. I just won't, right? That's just not who I am as a person. I'm not like my neighbor. He was like training for something. I don't know. He was like, at the time, I think he was like 15 years older than me at the time. And I would walk into this kitchen and had like 75 <laughs> bottles and lived on pills and barely ate. And I'm and he was in the best shape of his life, but I'm like, I really just want to eat a damn cupcake. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's exactly. Like, I, I just want, it's gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free. I made it myself. It's organic, but I'm eating the damn cupcake. So, we, uh, but- Somebody's at my door. Oh, Somebody's sorry. at my door. Okay, but I was sorry. gonna say, do that synthetic folic acid because it's a conversation starter, right? Everybody go read your vitamin labels. Is it on there? Because it makes you go, if you're allergic to it, whack a fucking doodle. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but it does. It makes you crazy. So you got it. You, my naturopathic doctor knew. That's who knew. Totally like it, when you have to keep a food diary, things get very interesting um, because every every label has to go in the food diary. It's like, what did you eat? It's not just what did you eat? It's like, where's the label of what you ate? That's always the fun one. Um, yeah. Super fun, Dean. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like it's a life altering thing. It's very time consuming. You don't want to have to do that. But I'm telling you, like if you have an allergy to food, you better know what it is because it can make you crazy. It can make you stressed out. It can make you um, with a short temper. It can make you lethargic or fatigued and it could just be food. So when I was first diagnosed, I was 20. Chocolate, sugar, milk, wheat, corn, potatoes and coffee. I didn't eat anything that had more than five ingredients in it. And I had to be able to pronounce them all. And so it was like cold turkey on everything that was not good for me. And that was 26 years ago. I'm that old. I was 20. I'm going to be 47. So it, it was a long, long time ago. So go through your personal profile and page. Most expensive is via page only. I disagree for what? Wait, trying to ramp up my social media presence. I don't want to make anyone mad or get sued. And honestly, I'm not sure. Why do you say it's expensive to go through your page? I go through my page. I don't pay a penny. All of my reach is organic, unpaid, no ads. So anyway, so what I was going to say, Diana, is uh, you want to talk about, that's one issue right there that nobody's talking about right now. Nobody. And you can start that conversation. Okay, I will. Right? Like go through all their gummy vitamins, all the vitamins that they're taking, all the supplements that they're taking, all of the, the protein powders, all of that, if they're feeling stressed, if they're feeling like they really should be taking some mental health drugs, perhaps it might be wise to try to not have folic acid for a couple of weeks and see if they feel better. Interesting. Yeah, so all yeah. I had to do, I had to get rid of folic acid, the synthetic folic acid, and then I added B12 in the morning, 
and B6 at night. And that's it. Because my gene mutation eats all my bees faster than it can process them. So that's it. But that was it. And now I'm like 100%. So there you go. That's, that's awesome. a conversation you can start that will lead them naturally. Well, you got to check your products. <laughs> you right <laughs> my now. products are actually like gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I was pregnant, all I ate was gummy vitamins because I couldn't handle eating anything else. So, okay. Are you good? I'm good. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay. If we do not have anyone else, I am, uh, it's already 6.07. My laptop battery is about to die and I am going to sign off and go eat dinner with my family. Thank you so much for joining me. Third time's a charm. The first time I ended up doing it privately. The second time took seven or eight minutes to start. So uh, the recording is kind of whacked. So don't watch that. This one has been awesome. Your engagement has been amazing. It's been wonderful to meet all of you. Please follow me on Blab. I posted my fan page in there. My name is Adrian Ashley. I'm on Facebook. Happy to engage with you there. You can always send me a message through my fan page if you can't friend me because I am at the end of my, my friending. Uh, so I will see what I can do and uh, let's have a conversation. You know, if you want to take your fan page viral, reach out and let's talk. Have a great night. Awesome. Good night.